no, Danny, I'm actually still at home. I'm, uh, I'm on my way to the police station to help Tomas and Star. So you haven't left the house yet? Uh, no, I'm just on my way out the door. So, what about Todd? Have you heard anything, or...? No, nothing. He's still missing. Listen, I gotta run, um, but try not to worry, okay? Trust me. Now, how am I supposed to trust you when not a single word you say is true? Why did you just lie to our daughter? Would you rather I make her an accessory as well? You already have one daughter in prison for abetting a murder. You want another one? Murder me? Am I even still a suspect? Didn't McBain and Bo take your advice? Yes, they did take my advice. Great, so Rex Balsam has been arrested for the murder of Victor. No, he was brought to the police station last night and let go. Great. I'm done for. Not necessarily. There's been a development with Jack. Come in. Jack told me Shane Marasco pulled a gun on him last night. Blair. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Well, what do you intend to do about it? Good morning. What's this? <laughs> Pumpkin muffins. Mm. Still warm. <laughs> when did you become the happy homemaker? Just trying to make it up to you for jumping to conclusions. Nothing says sorry. I thought you were a murderer better than pumpkin muffins. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I'm just glad that you and Shane have been cleared. I can't believe how Roxy and I screwed everything up so badly. Actually, I'm grateful to you. Really? Let's back up for just a second, Blair. Now, there are things that you don't know about. Okay, well, why don't you fill me in? Shane was looking for a confession. He wanted Jack to admit that he'd killed Gigi. I'm sorry, Stace. My stupid brother forced me to give him that paper that Rex signed everything over to Clint. What else could I do? Cutter didn't give me any choice. Hello, beautiful. Mm. It's gonna be a happy moment when I get Clint to strike a deal and cash this puppy in. In love again? So soon? Hey, Rama. You mind telling me why you dragged me all the way down to Kentucky? Isn't it obvious? I thought I'd bring us back to the scene of the crime. You know how Cutter can get. And he was threatening to go to the cops, so I had to give him that paper. But hey, at least we're gonna get half, which is only fair. Because I was the one who got those two crazy broads to get Rex to sign over everything to Clint, just so they can get their hands on that gun. You're grateful to me? You and Roxy were trying to protect me. And I appreciate that. But what I don't get is if you guys thought that I killed Victor Lord with that gun, why didn't you just get rid of it? It's complicated. Okay. Try me. What are you doing here? I thought you'd be in school. I was just, um, I was gonna drop this off. I remembered it's your birthday tomorrow, and I know we're not together or anything, but I wanted you to have it. 
Denny. That's not the reaction I was looking for. What's going on with Jack? Is he okay? Yes, yes, he's fine. Uh, Blair showed up last night when you were asleep. Basically, Star caught Jack in a lie. Apparently, he admitted to overhearing Sean tell Star Victor's last words. So Jack admitted that he lied? Mm, not really. When Star confronted him, he denied having said that. And he challenged her to prove that he did. Blair tried to get him to tell the truth, but he wouldn't tell her. Right. Of course. I bet Blair tried real hard. Well, even if um, Shane did get Jack to confess, it wouldn't be admissible in court, right? Because it was done in gunpoint. I think Shane just wanted to hear Jack say the words. Did Jack confess? No. Actually, Shane confessed. The gun that he had last night, it was the same one that he used to hit Jack the night that Victor was killed. Wait, 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 wait. Shane is the one that hit Jack. That's right. Oh my God, Bobby, you didn't kill Victor, did he? No, no, we uh, sent the gun to ballistics. It's not the murder weapon. And even if Shane had wanted to kill Victor and, and Jack, he wouldn't have been able to do it. No, instead of shooting Jack, he ended up taking him to the hospital because Shane was worried about him. Wow, I just done, doesn't, I can't believe this. I, but wait a minute, if, if if Shane is the one that hit Jack, then obviously Todd didn't, so that's, that's good news for Todd, right? What was so complicated? If you thought that I was guilty and you were trying to protect me, right? Why didn't you and Roxy just toss the gun in the Lantano River? Rex isn't a killer. Oh, so you guys just hit a murder weapon and a stuffed porcupine for kicks? Let's deal. What do you want? Everything your little brat extorted for Clint's brand new heart. It's a long story. So I, I guess I better start at the top. My only regret, Stace, is that I won't get to be the big hero. I was gonna wrap that paper up in a nice big ribbon and present it to Clint all ceremonial-like, and then watch his face when he saw that Rex signed it all back over to him. The house, the horses, the company, the cash. But hey, 50% of cutters cut ain't bad. And my brother always gets exactly what he wants, damn it. I thought returning to the scene of the crime would be appropriate for many reasons. But we don't have to get into that yet. What do you want, Rama? Tell me where the real Aubrey Wentworth is. I haven't seen her in years. Save it. The fake Aubrey Wentworth told me everything. I know that you're in touch with your sister, a.k.a. Kimberly Andrews, a.k.a. the former and the most recent Mrs. Clint Buchanan. Really? Aubrey told you all that, huh? And now you're going to tell me where she is so I can get money back from that surgically altered bitch. I wish I could help you. I just really don't know where she is. Dyer! You're making a big mistake, Cutter. Don't tell me where she is. I will go to the Anchorage police and tell them everything that I know about what happened right here at the Spotted Pony. You remember, don't you? It was the first time I came to Anchorage, Kentucky, trying to track down your sister and my money. Aubrey Wentworth? Or whatever you're calling yourself now, are, are you here? Aubrey? Tell me, have I sufficiently refreshed your memory on the whereabouts of your sister? Maybe I do know where Kim is. Excellent. So, where would that be? I can't tell you. Come on, Rama. I can't have you marching over there and confronting her. At least not now. 
then you must not remember the details of that night very clearly. Wait, I know you. You're, you're, you're Cutter Wentworth, Aubrey Wentworth's brother, right? What have you done? Get out now. No, I came here to get the money that your ugly duckling sister stole from me. She ran away with my money. What, what? I can't help you. What? All right, you need to leave now and forget everything you just saw. You committed a crime, Cutter, and I have proof, remember? So do you want to reconsider telling me where I can find your sister? Sucks. I guess I'm not the domestic type, but at least the color will look good on you. I... Okay, even when you're unconscious, I can hear you loud and clear. I know you're not nuts about Cutter, but he has to come through this time. He will. We need that money. Okay. Here goes. Hey, Shane. Hey, you okay, buddy? Yeah, but I overslept. Yeah, doesn't matter. Today, no school for you. Really? Echo, could you give me and Shane a minute? Oh, yes, of course. You just you take all the time you need. Aw, oh, sweetie. I'm so glad you're okay. We need to talk about what happened last night. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad, but I am scared. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Shane, you do not need to apologize. You've been dealing with so much rage inside of you. You took a gun out of a safe and you intended to use it. Thank God you didn't. But you hit Jack and it took him to the hospital. And then you took the gun out of the safe again. And you didn't tell me. I know. You've been going through something very terrible. And you've been going through it by yourself. Why couldn't you let me in on it? Shane confessed. He hit Jack, which disproves Jack's claim that it was Todd that hit him, so... Yeah, this could be really good for Todd. If he wasn't a fugitive. You know, hiding out somewhere that only his most trusted friends would know about. What are you getting at, Bo? Blair is doing everything she can to help you. Yeah, a lot of good that's gonna do me. She's putting herself at great risk to hide you here. She can't hide behind attorney-client privilege the way I can. Besides, if anyone can get the truth out of Jack, it's Blair. But what if she can't? If the cops don't go after Balsam, I'm up the creek with... Hell, I'm up the creek without a boat. I'm not getting at anything. I'm just speculating on Manning's whereabouts. I see. Okay, well, what about Star and Tomas? What are you, what are you going to do about them? Tomas pled guilty, so there's not really much we can do about that. Mm -hmm. I could talk to uh, Nora, see if she could expedite uh, Star's arraignment. Oh, I would appreciate that. Thank you. But you know what? It's the mayor. She's out for blood right now, and I'm not sure that she would want Star released until Manning's in custody. No, no, but she can't do that. My daughter has rights. Mm. She can't hold her as, as bait. That's, that's wrong. I know, I understand that. See, but that's why if one of those trusted friends that I was talking about before, that friend could really help Todd and, and could really help Star too. If that friend would just suggest that Todd turn himself in. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Upset no, you, you didn't. You, you, it wasn't. I'm not crying because of the birthday present. That was really nice of you. It's just I'm, I'm upset because before you you gave me that present, I hadn't even thought about my birthday. What? Who forgets about their own birthday? Me and the rest of my family. Why would they remember? My sister and my uncle are both in jail. My, my father was just murdered and my other father is out there missing somewhere. Yeah, I, I know it's crazy. And the worst part is all my mom's been doing is lying to me about everything. I just got off the phone with her. You know where she told me she was? She said she was just leaving the house. Wait, why would she tell you that she was in the house when she wasn't? Because... 
I think she's with my real father, Todd. And I'm scared. I know things are difficult right now, but you can't lose hope. You know me, ever hopeful. Well, what's the alternative? I'm not sure. I'll tell you, though. <clears throat> Hanging around here, staying under the radar, fearful to even go outside because it may not be safe, starting to feel a lot like jail. Well, I guess that makes me your cellmate. At least till Blair comes back. You hungry? Well, I would really appreciate anything that you could do to help with Star's arraignments. Hey, why don't you why don't you wait outside in the uh, squad room? And I want you to feel free to use any one of those phones out there to call anybody about anything. Okay. Please tell me they arrested Rex Balsam and that they dropped the charges against Todd. Not even close. Look, I hate that you've had all this anger inside of you. Why didn't you tell me? Because after Jack's dad was killed, everything just got so crazy. How was I supposed to tell you what I did? But you wanted to. I mean, you tried telling me before. You tried talking to Brody. Yeah, but I, I just couldn't, okay? Why not? What were you afraid of? It's not like you killed Victor Lord. No, but... I thought you did. Don't get mad at me for saying this, but... I hope Rex is enjoying his last few hours as a gazillionaire. Okay, I'm sorry, that was mean. But I don't like Rex Balsam any more than you trust Cutter. You're bluffing. You've been threatening to call the police on me for years, and you've never done it, and you never will. Listen, listen, the cops are already on their way, okay? And you don't want to be here when they get here. I, something tells me your fiancé's family wouldn't be too keen on you getting mixed up in a, my, my fiance, something like this. How do you know? Aubrey told me all about it. Your stupid little arranged marriage is supposed to save your broke family. But something tells me the deal will be off. You get involved with a stiff at a strip club. Go! Oh, okay. Okay, fine, I'll go. But, but you know what? I won't forget this. And I'll find that thieving sister of yours and she'll pay me back someday. And you know what? Just, just to make sure. What? Hey! Hey, give me that! Damn it! I have no problem going to the police right now. My husband and his family will applaud me for doing the right thing. And by the way, I still have a souvenir from that night. I'm sure the Anchorage police will be more than pleased to finally solve the case of the murder at the Spotted Book. I understand why you have your doubts about Cutter. It's not like he hasn't gotten me into trouble in the past. We were grifters, you know. We target some rich guys, slip them a Mickey, and then roll them. But then one night, it all went straight to hell. Okay. I don't feel so good. What the hell? Cutter! I guess I used too much. You think? Oh my god. He's dead. You poisoned him! Okay. Okay, go. Go. I'll get rid of the body before Ralph gets back. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. I'm your brother. Can't you trust me? Okay. I do trust my brother. Within reason. Oh, but like I said, what choice do I have? Damn it, Rama. My sister's broke, okay? What's she supposed to do? Reverse her plastic surgery? She can't afford to pay you. Then you will have to go to prison. Okay. Damn it, Rama, just listen to me! Ow! You're hurting me! Got a problem here? No. Everything's just fine. Right? I'm 
I'm not gonna let you hold this over my head for the rest of my life. No. What's she gonna do? Kill me? Hey, 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 look. Your mom is the smartest person I've ever met. She's gotta know what she's doing. And if she's not uh, telling you stuff, it's gotta be to protect you. Okay, I, I guess, but I'm not a baby. No, you're not. You are 18. Almost. But I know this is not gonna make you feel better about your mom or about any of that other stuff, but it might take your mind off for a little while. What did she say? Rex Balsam didn't do it, and neither did his son Shane. His what? Shane? That's what you thought? That I killed Victor Lord? Well, I knew Jack was lying about Todd Manning being the killer, so I figured someone else must have gone into the house after I brought Jack to the hospital. Okay, but what made you think it was me? Well, after I went to the hospital, I came straight home, put the gun in the safe, and then went to bed. But I couldn't sleep. That's when I saw you come in, tracking mud and all wet from the rain. Right, I told you I went to visit your mom's grave. I know. Only, I thought you were lying. Okay, will you stop playing with the oatmeal? Tell me what's going on. Before I say anything else, you need to understand that everyone is fine. Oh boy, this, this, this sounds great. Last night, Rex's son, Shane, pulled a gun on Jack. Pulled a gun on Jack? Is Jack okay? I told you, Jack is fine. Jack is fine? Someone tried to murder him? Some psycho pulls a gun on him and, and... Tell me, Shane's been arrested, right? They have the gun? They have the gun. Did they find out if that's the murder weapon? Because if Rex didn't kill Victor, then maybe his whack job of a son did. The police ran ballistics on the gun and it was not a match. Rex and Shane have both been cleared. This is a mess. Look, the good news is that Shane admitted that he was the one who hit Jack the night of Victor's murder. Well, well, Shane knew all along that it wasn't me that hit Jack over the head and he didn't say anything? Nope, but what we need to concentrate on is that the police are no longer buying Jack's story. Apparently, Shane took Jack to the hospital right after he hit him. So Jack was nowhere near the crime scene the night of Victor's murder. So Jack's eyewitness account no longer holds any water. So great. So the police have dropped all the charges against me then? Not so fast. You still have very strong motive, no murder weapon has been found, and let's not forget, you're a fugitive. The police believe the real murderer is out there, and they think it could be you. My God, all this time you've been thinking that I'm a murderer. Well, yeah. All you ever talked about was getting even with Victor and Jack. I thought that we both had the same idea, to kill them. I couldn't go through with it, but I thought you did. You look good, girl. More color in your cheeks today. Oh, hey, I didn't tell you. You'd not believe what I had to do to convince Cutter that you're you and not Gigi. But I mean, come on, that would be crazy, right? You didn't even get to your sister that day. Your snooty sister was dead in that basement already. Although her heart did save Clint. But... You survived, thank God. And as soon as you get out of here, we'll get you looking like you used to look. We just have to get our half of Rex's money. It's all good, Stace. I promise. Well, if it isn't our friend Echo D. Savoy, what does that battle axe want? Echo, what can I do for you? I'm calling about that document. Well, can I? You heard me. Take it or leave it. Fine, agreed. No, I'm not gonna kill you. I've got an easier way to solve our little dilemma. Really, how? I've got an idea. It's gonna kill a lot of birds. Just one stone. Document? Oh, you mean that paper wreck signed giving it all back to Clint. Yeah, what about it? I want it back. Now. No way, lady. We had a deal, fair and square. I got the paper and you got the gun. Yes, but you don't understand. That gun, it turns out it wasn't the one used to kill Victor Lord Jr., so the deal's off. Oh, and one more thing. Great. Can't wait to hear more good news. 
the mayor is pressuring the district attorney's office to push for the max with Star, unless you turn yourself in. Okay. Where are you going? I'm gonna turn myself in. There's no way I'm gonna let Star get in trouble for helping me to escape. No, 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 no. Hold on. You're not going anywhere until I get some guarantees. Okay, look, Delgado, I, it's not that I don't appreciate all you're doing to help me, but you need to understand. Help you? Yes. Help you? I'm not doing anything to help you. I'm doing this to help my husband, Victor. The Manchurian Candidate? Uh-huh. It's the original. Yeah. Uh, remember that fight that we had when you told me how much you liked the remake with Meryl Streep? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I told you I would watch the original with you so I could tell you why it is so, so much better. Right. Yeah, how could I forget? Thanks. Sure. Um... Anyways, I, I should go. Um, do, you, do you need a lift to school? Looks like you're already late. Uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm taking a mental health day. I'll probably just watch this instead. Okay, uh, well, enjoy. Wait. You want to watch this with me? I'm very sorry about what happened to Victor, but I need to turn myself in. You're not taking one step outside this cabin until I get some guarantees. Guarantees from the police department and the district attorney's office that they're not going to railroad you for a crime you didn't commit. I cannot have them wasting their time when they should be finding my husband's real killer. I talked to Nora. She will try to get Star arraigned as soon as possible. Oh, thank you so much, Bo. Is there something you wanted to tell me? We well, you know, actually, yes, there is. I want to know what you're going to do about Shane Morasco. That's right. He threatened my son with a gun. And I want to know if you're going to charge him for it. I'm sorry, Dad. I never should have believed that you could have done that. No, look, you have nothing to be sorry about, okay? This is my fault. Ever since your mom died, there's been this distance between us because I've been there for you. Sure you have. No, actually, I haven't. I've been so obsessed with revenge, I haven't seen what you've been going through. But that's over. Okay, from now on, I've got your back and you've got mine. Anything happens, we help each other get through it, okay? Are you gonna get in trouble because of what I did to Jack? So far, no charges have been filed against Shane Morasco. Of course not, because Rex isn't just your good buddy anymore. He and Shane are family, and we all know how the Buchanan just love to stick together. Is that right? So you're telling me that Shane is just gonna get off scot-free? No, what I'm telling you, Blair, is I think you should think long and hard before you force the issue to get Shane arrested. What is there a thing about? The boy could have killed my son, Bo! I understand that, but if Shane's actions become a matter of record, then so will Jack's. And then he will have a few charges that he has to answer for. Like making a false statement to law enforcement, obstruction of justice. Is that what you want? I don't know if you're going to get in trouble with what happened with Jack, but if you do, we will face it together. And honestly, I already told the truth, so I guess we just wait. Yeah. Shane, I don't know if I can fix everything that's broken, but I promise you that I've always listened, and I won't judge. Mom used to be good at that. I'll never be as good as your mom. I promise to give it my best shot. You know, revenge isn't the only thing that's become between us. What else was there? I've been chasing a ghost. And if we're gonna get through this, that has to stop too. 
Ever hear the expression buyer beware? That means a deal's a deal. So if you don't like your half, you can suck it. The only reason I wanted that gun back was because I thought my son used it to commit murder, but it turns out he's innocent. Yeah? Mazel tov, but that's not my problem. You listen to me. You give me what I want, or I swear I will track you down and take it back from you one way or another. Ooh, you're scaring me. And you're wasting my time because I don't have the damn document anymore. What are you talking about? I gave it to someone else. What? Who? Okay, I'll tell you. I gave your precious document to... Oops. So what's it gonna be, Rama? You gonna call the police and make sure that we all end up with nothing? Or you gonna go with the far saner, more mutually satisfying plan that I just proposed? Oh, can you believe the nerve of that echo? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but it looks like Rex didn't kill anybody. I know, I know. You were right the whole time. But don't get any ideas about Mr. Perfect, because as soon as you get out of here, I'm not going to let you try your crazy plan to win Rex back. You and Rex are through, capiche? Oh my god, I gotta get to work. Stace, soon enough, no more spotted pony. We'll be on easy street. I'm so sorry, Victor. I thought we were onto something with Rex. <gasps> you and I both know how much he hated you. Okay. So if you didn't kill Victor and neither did Rex, I need to find out who really did. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll figure it out. You gonna stay here? Delgado, you've always been there for me. I'm here for you. It's not my place to say this, Blair, but I think the best thing for Jack might be if he forgets all about Shane Morosco and recants his statement about Todd. Uh... Won't Jack still get in trouble? He was hit in the head. He was confused, and he made a mistake. So I think that he could take back everything he said about Todd and not suffer any consequences. I just want to do right by my son to protect him. And I understand that, Blair. I really do. More than you could possibly know. Okay, you're sure you want me to stick around and watch it for you? I know I haven't been your favorite person lately. No, you haven't. But if you don't stay, who's going to explain to me why this version is so much better? Yeah. May I come in? Ms. Delgado. Right on schedule. This wouldn't have anything to do with Todd Manning, would it? Todd is ready to turn himself in, but we are going to need something in return. Victor torturing us from beyond the grave. Hmm. Brother of mine, who killed you? We're twins, right, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we have some weird connection? Shouldn't I know who killed you? Roxy, it's Echo. I tried to get that document back from Kim, but she says she doesn't have it anymore. She said she gave it away. No! No, I don't know, Roxy. The little bitch wouldn't tell me who she gave it to. 
Hello? Anybody here? Rama? Is that really you, Aubrey? I'm flattered you remember me. Of course I do. Aubrey, or should I call you Kim? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm here to settle in on the score. Don't give up. That's what you told me, Cheech. So Shane and I are promising that we won't give up on each other. Guess I finally realized what you meant. We will never forget you, Moresco. But we do have to let you go.